All right, so today we got an unboxing from Adidas. Plus, it also looks like Yeezy is definitely up to something with this latest announcement. But to begin, we're gonna start with the latest headlines from around the world of sneakers, kicking things off with these Jordan 4 wet cements, which it looks like today we got exclusive access via JD Sports and Finish Line. So if you're looking to secure a pair of these ahead of Saturday's official release date, you may wanna jump on these. But I'm actually seeing many people saying that a sneaker which retails at 225 once you factor in shipping as well as taxes that's gonna hit you like 250 plus I'm seeing many people saying that they actually may gamble that after Saturday's sneakers app release we may actually see these joints hitting for under retail so we'll have to monitor and see how that release goes it also looks like we got an early fear of God release as the gray and black basketball model has dropped early via SNS so these aren't actually scheduled to drop I believe on the confirmed app until August so SNS did drop these joints a little bit early so a nice rendition a nice take on the basketball one model featuring this gray and black color scheme I would say though at that full 250 retail price point while this isn't out of the norm for your typical fear guy consumer I would say a little bit pricey for your average sneaker head who's been a little more budget conscious here in 2024 so 250 kind of crazy for these especially if you've already bought you know some of the other colorways but be on the lookout for these drop in in august via the confirmed app and if you're looking to get these a little bit early to flex on everybody you can go ahead and pick these joints up via sns now switching gears over to new balance i actually found this one over on soul retriever so it looks like a new ald 990 v4 has been discovered so previously we saw this olive green pair i'm assuming that this burnt orange rendition will go alongside these probably with another colorway to complete the trio so I feel like as far as these tones go this would be the perfect fall time release so of course currently no release details are known but I would expect these to drop sometime before the year is over now Joe Fresh Goods he gave us the official looks at his upcoming 990 v6 collaboration which we have now learned the official colorway names will be Paris Red as well as Prom Blue now of course we do know Joe Fresh Goods has this Paris New Balance activation scheduled which these will officially be dropping July 27th as Paris exclusives now for everybody else who's panicking worrying that they're not going to be able to get their own pair it looks like our favorite sneaker leaker brandon from over on twitter x he has confirmed that we can expect to see a retail release dropping on august 9th and 14th it's looking like that will only be the blue pair and unfortunately it looks like these red joints may be limited to just a paris exclusive and for yeezy of course things have been pretty dry lately as far as updates of course we have adidas still trying to sell off all of this unsold yeezy inventory but as far as independent Yeezy no major updates the last big thing that we heard was that Yeezy.com would no longer be accepting online orders until all existing orders have been fulfilled well it looks like today those existing orders have went down to just 100 orders remaining meaning that all orders should be fulfilled within the next few days or so plus on top of that it looks like the reddit detectives have discovered that behind the scenes at Yeezy.com it looks like uh, some changes are happening which could potentially see a big update go down once all of these orders are fulfilled and on top of everything Yeezy affiliate as well as Ye's right hand man at the moment Oz Taylor he made a huge announcement that we can expect to see a new Vultures listing experience going down in Taiwan scheduled for August 25th now remember we already have a Korean event planned for the 23rd so it looks like we got two major vulture listening experiences scheduled for next month on top of that Ars he's teasing these new Yeezy leather pants we've seen Ye rocking a whole bunch of unreleased Yeezy such as the zip up the raincoat a whole bunch of different stuff so with Yeezy.com about to fill all of these existing orders we got a vultures listening experience on the way all the stars are aligning at the right moment and I would expect something major from Yeezy coming up very soon and lastly we got an unboxing from Adidas so these are the AE1 low this is the ascent colorway now as far as Adidas basketball which what really made me kind of like respect them would have to be the hard end volume 7 really made me respect them take note of what they're doing over there and then once we first saw images of the original AE ones you know I was definitely optimistic but once I actually was able to try the original with love colorway I was instantly sold, which is why I'm really excited to check out this low tie version, which they did drop the mid as well as the lows in this MX gray colorway. So I did happen to grab these via Adidas in the morning. As far as the release, of course they didn't drop these via the confirmed app, but rather just the standard 
Adidas app. The buying process was really easy. It was actually a cute drop. Um, after a few minutes, they let me know that I was able to successfully grab my pair. I did see that a lot of the bigger sizes are sold out across the board, but for the most part, it seems like most people had a pretty easy experience grabbing these so off the first impressions definitely loving what i'm seeing but you guys already know we got to throw these joints on feet to give these the uh, full test so let's go ahead and get into that so on feet these were pretty interesting i would say as far as the look i feel like they look great love the ae1 in low top form i feel like it's a wonderful smooth transition as far as the colorway huge fan of what adidas did here with this mx gray pattern that you see throughout the upper. So sneakers look great on feet. As far as sizing, I'm a true to size 10 and a half, but I would say nowadays, I generally like to go with a size 11. Pretty much with all of my sneakers, just that little extra, you know, small space of room, I feel like makes sneakers a little more comfortable. But I was actually surprised to see that these do fit pretty snug in my size 11, but I'm assuming based on the fact that these are a performance model, you know, these are gonna break in a little bit. Well, at least that's my experience that I had as far as the mid top version goes. But I was actually surprised to see that these sneakers actually come with the last lace lock unlaced and I actually noticed that my feet actually slipped out of these if I didn't lace these up all the way to the last lace lock and if you're actually using the these for performance i would recommend to actually get rid of these rope laces and probably you know go with a standard pair of flat laces as when i laced these all the way up to the top i actually felt that the laces weren't long enough to actually properly tie them up all the way but other than that i feel like joints look great on feet and i was actually also surprised to see that these felt just as about the same weight as the mid top version or maybe even a little bit heavier i don't know but joints weren't as light as i would expect but as far as just a lifestyle looking model I I think these look great we know that these are designed for performance but i would say as far as the ae model it's just one of the rare models that you can rock on and off the court as far as other noticeable differences versus the mid top version i would say the only thing that i really notice is this uh light boost which is exposed on the back heel tab and as far as like the design and everything i still am not a fan of this like butt on the back heel area but it's just minimal not really anything to complain about so overall big fan of what adidas did here with the ae1 low love the way these joints look on feet now would i buy another pair of these probably not as i'm satisfied with just having my one mid and low top version for me i pretty much bought these just to like shoot around on the basketball court and then just rock casually you know here and there so definitely satisfied with my purchase also forgot to mention that you have uh, this 3m on the toe box area here which is again another cool hidden detail that i actually had no clue about before purchasing these so coming in at 110 bucks i feel like this is a great purchase salute to the adidas basketball team and ae you know what i'm saying i'm rocking with you so excited to see what the future holds for the ae2 it doesn't look like we have a release anytime in the near future here and it looks like adidas is just going to continue to pump out more uh, colorways of the ae1 in mid as well as low top form and it's also really cool to see the impact of this sneaker which although they did have this huge big budget campaign behind it i feel like the growth of this sneaker has definitely been like really organic i'm seeing a lot of people along on my Twitter timeline actually picked these up on release day so it looks like the hype is definitely growing and it looks like as far as this ascent release whether it was the low or the mid top version I saw a lot of people purchase their first AE1 sneakers so salute to Adidas once again on another successful drive and I think sneakerheads are kind of tired of the sellout gimmicks and it feels like these drops are a little more organic a little more fair while they do sell out they typically don't sell out like instantly and it feels like a more true sellout and Adidas also drops these joints in stores as well so again salute to them for that and let me know if you guys are rocking with these also did any of you guys pick these joints up whether it was the low or mid top version so we're gonna wrap things up right here salute to everybody for tuning in i'm ja i'll catch you guys tomorrow but in the meantime stay safe stay blessed and i'm out y'all love